And that's through mining malware, which is software that is secretly installed on your computer or network without your consent or knowledge. Basically, mining malware is designed to hijack your computer or network to generate cyber criminals more money. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about malware, specifically the type that is used for mining cryptocurrency. As you may already know, cryptocurrencies have gained a lot of popularity in recent years, with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many others becoming household names. However, this newfound fascination with cryptocurrencies has not only attracted legitimate investors, but also cyber criminals who are looking to exploit the technology for their own gain. One of the up and coming threats in the world of cryptocurrencies is the use of mining malware, a form of cybercrime that has been on the rise. And so in this video, we're going to be diving deep into the intricacies of cryptocurrency mining malware, its growth as a significant threat, and the measures that you can take to protect yourself. Now, obviously, the most efficient and effective way to deal with this type of malware and other similar cyber threats is to use a reliable antivirus. And so if you don't already have one or are looking for a few suggestions, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description below along with some discounts. Alright, so the first thing we need to do to measure the threat of crypto jacking malware is to understand cryptocurrency mining itself. Well, cryptocurrency mining is the process where new coins are created and transactions are added to the blockchain. It involves solving complex mathematical puzzles, which is a task that requires significant computational power. Miners who successfully complete these computations are rewarded with cryptocurrency tokens, such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, as an incentive of further efforts. Early on, cryptocurrency mining was done by people on their personal computers, but as the networks grew, the computational difficulty of mining increased, which needed more powerful hardware and specialized equipment. This has given birth to mining pools, where miners combine their resources to increase their chances of solving puzzles and receiving rewards. With that being said, cryptocurrency mining, while a legitimate and essential component of blockchain technology, has also been exploited by cyber criminals. And that's through mining malware, which is software that is secretly installed on your computer or network without your consent or knowledge. Once it's installed, it uses your system's computational resources, such as CPU or GPU power, to mine cryptocurrencies on behalf of the attacker. Basically, mining malware is designed to hijack your computer or network to generate cyber criminals more money. Now, there are several factors as to why such malware has gotten really popular lately. For example, mining cryptocurrencies can be highly profitable, especially when it involves using the computational resources of a bunch of infected devices. And that's because cyber criminals can accumulate significant amounts of cryptocurrency without actually investing in expensive hardware or paying for electricity. Another factor that has led to its popularity is how easy it is to distribute this malware. These cyber criminals use a bunch of different methods to distribute mining malware, including phishing emails, malicious websites, and compromised software downloads. These tactics are relatively easy to implement and can target a wide range of potential victims. Other than that, mining malware has adapted to the changing cryptocurrency landscape. Some malware strains are capable of switching between different cryptocurrencies to maximize profits, and they can even update themselves to avoid detection. And as the popularity of cryptocurrency malware grew, so did its threat. But popularity is not the only factor that has led to this escalation, and there are several key reasons for this. For example, as the adoption of cryptocurrencies grew, so does the potential pool of victims. With more individuals and organizations using digital currencies, cyber criminals have a larger target audience to exploit. Basically, a bigger pot to put their hands in. Another reason would be the cyberjacking malware has become increasingly sophisticated, making it more challenging to detect and remove. Some variants can even spread through networks, infecting multiple devices. Other than that, you have the widespread availability of mining scripts, which also plays a big role in escalating the threat of cyberjacking malware. Mining scripts, which simplifies the process of deploying mining malware, are easily found on the dark web. This accessibility has allowed less technology-skilled cyber criminals to join in. 
All right, so the growing threat of crypto jacking malware carries significant implications for individuals, organizations, and the broader digital landscape. For example, infected devices often experience a noticeable slowdown in performance since crypto jacking malware consumes a significant portion of their computational power, which can get quite frustrating and affect user productivity. Cryptocurrency mining is also a resource intensive process that can significantly increase the electricity consumption of infected devices, which can get you higher utility bills and have a negative environmental impact. Another thing to keep in mind is that crypto jacking malware is not exactly limited to cryptocurrency mining alone. It can open the doors to other malicious activities, such as data theft, espionage, or the installation of even more malware. Lastly, crypto jacking malware can have a direct financial impact on victims, as the energy costs associated with mining may outweigh the value of the cryptocurrency generated. Also, organizations may face a lot of financial losses due to downtime and IT security efforts. With that being said, there are several measures you can take to protect yourself from the growing threat of crypto jacking malware. For starters, try to use reputable security software since it can both detect and remove mining malware. Also, regularly update these software programs to make sure that you are equipped to deal with evolving threats. Also, try to raise awareness about the risks associated with downloading files, clicking on suspicious links, and visiting untrusted websites, whether at home or work. And when it comes to companies, they should conduct cybersecurity training to help employees recognize these potential threats. Implementing network security measures also plays a role in protecting you from crypto jacking malware. Try to use firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and network monitoring tools to detect and prevent the spread of mining malware, whether at your home or in your organization's network. Other than that, try to always keep an eye on CPU and GPU usage, as significant spikes could indicate the presence of mining malware. Then, investigate any unusual activity and take appropriate action. And finally, try to use strong and unique passwords, since they are a common entry point for cyber criminals. If you don't want to do this manually, consider using a password manager to do all the work for you. And the best part is that most reputable antiviruses also feature a password manager, so you can save yourself a little bit of money here. And that's basically it for today's video on crypto jacking malware. Don't forget that the most effective way to deal with such a threat is to use a reputable antivirus. If you don't already have one or looking for some options, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend along with some discounts in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.